Hello viewers on YouTube. Some month ago we did this project and I remember I promised that we're going to continue from where we stopped. So the problem it was that because the outside winding was overheated. So we only use this inside winding to produce electricity. So even though we converted this into a generator, but it was not performing properly because this wire is very thin. It's very small wire. All right. But it did uh, the great job. Okay. So I promised that I'm going to come back with the video where we are going to see how much voltage we can generate from this outside the winding. Okay. So, after I cut all this wire they use to wind the outside windings, I see that it is 0.4 mm. It is small, but not too small. It's a little bit bigger. So, after checking, I found the same wire, the wire with the same size, I can say like that, from the old hoverboard. I've been showing you this. Okay, so this was the wire they use in it, which is matching with the wire we need okay it is similar sorry for my camera but i hope you can see there the same size all right and i see that this to clean it to sort it out and because it was overheated here is going to take a long time for all of this job to be done that's why i found another housing which is a similar design this and uh, the holes at the middle they are same even though this one looks big of course it is big but not much different okay because the hole at the middle is the same to this one just they stretch it a little bit this one it has thick housing this here this one is thin that's why this one looks bigger but the design and anything else it is the same okay so let's put this aside now here come i did the winding well before we throw this away the winding i use here see that one two three four it is the same winding or same design they use right here you see here one two three four okay so how they do all of this thing or how to do all of this how to wind like this well you just need to take your wire there's two way to do this two ways let me say like that the first way you start from here you can see the first one one two these two holes they are together in the second one third and the fourth why am i saying like that because this the starting point if you can check the starting point see here it is here at the middle the small wire which is this one so we start going this way you see my finger we're going this way 100 tens okay from here to here right there at the middle there is one two three four these four groups didn't use them, but number five and number five to this side, they're the one we use going this way, 100 tens, right? After there, the next one, we're going the same direction, another 100 tens, same thing to the third, third here going up and the third going up. After jumping these four, we're going the same side, 110s. Same thing with the fourth one, going the same direction, 110s. I hope you understand there. So here's the first one. Once you reach 100, here you can cut your wire to make it easy. Okay, you can cut your wire right here. Then you're going to have one end and this another end. Then you're going to hold your housing like this then you can start again from here you count fall first from where you stopped here count one two three fall then you do the same thing here one two three four then you will find that at the middle here there's another four 
which are going to be empty those ones they are for this small wire so for now we only deal with this outside winding so these four they're going to be empty just like the way they are so this side you're going to have another wire and do the same thing and make sure that it's going to the same positioning where this was going okay so you will start from the small winding going that 100 tens 100 tens for the second third and the fourth 100 tens then once you finish you're going to connect the starting point of this side and the ending point of this side okay that's the first the second way that's the one i use here this one you don't have to cut here when you don't need you know just like me i never wanted to have a joint here so once you reach 100 here you just turn your winding like this but now what you have to do you need to start from this bigger one 100 tens then you go to the second the third and the fourth but this one is very complicated because i'm saying like that i can just say it is hard when you putting your wires here so i recommend you when you're going to rewind a motor like this especially the fridge compressor this design they use it in a fridge compressor okay that's where uh, they use this kind of winding very easy all right but now the easiest way that's the one i'm telling you you have to do this separately and this separately because you have to start from the small then coming to the second third fourth then now you will just join the wire here in series remember ending point have to be connected to the starting point of this uh i mean the the ending point of this uh bottom one all right so these ones going to be your output i hope i tried my best just make sure that the starting point is right here at the small and the another starting point is right here at the small then the end these ones the big ones you have to join them making the series uh mode okay so if i miss somewhere else or if i mix up please tell me in a comment section i'm going to repeat don't worry i always read the comments so now it is the time we're going to convert this well before we reach there i said here we only do three because you can see the wire that left it's not going to take us anywhere else so this side we only got 100 100 and 100 there and i stopped because this wire even if i can start the fourth line it's not going to take us anywhere else all right so anyway i hope the results are going to be good so now let's start arrange and before we start arranging we're going to use the same rotor we were using in here i hope you remember oh my god this now is blocking the way anyway we are going to use the same rotor we used before just have two poles south and north pole and the magnet we are using the same ones right here so you can see 35 millimeters 10 millimeters and the thickness is 3 millimeters all right now i am going to pause the video and when you're coming back or when i'm coming back you're going to see this will be here like that this will be at the middle and uh, quickly i'm going to cover the magnet with the tape okay so let me take my time to arrange this then we'll continue from there the setup is done i hope it's gonna hold there's so many punches just to make sure that it's not gonna fall apart but anyway here's under nothing there okay here is our generator spinning easily inside right now let's see if what we did is right 250 volts ac now so this connection
All right, now that's hand rotation. I don't know if we're not gonna mess up anything else. I'm going to use rope and see how much voltage we can get or we can make. All right, so yeah. All right, first one, ready? Okay, that went well. But even though it's shaking, but well, good job. Let's see this time. We're going to make it add another line on top. Okay, that was bad again. Yes, hey, <laughs> okay, let's see this time. Ready. Ooh. That went well too. 97 volts. Yeah, I hope it's gonna hold it. Alright, now let's try some load. Okay. Let's start with this mouse. 55 watts. Let's see. And uh, the meter is going to be on so we can see the voltage drop. All right, that's done. Ooh. All right, ready? The machine is on, connected, connected. Ooh, yeah, I did not see the voltage. So I'm going to do it again. I want to see the voltage, but the performance on the machine, you can see, it's doing well. Right. Again. Ready? Well, I see 87, which is good, not bad. Now I'm going to add the light bulb. I hope it's gonna work out. Alright. Okay. Where's the hope now? Oh, here it is. Okay, one more time. Okay, you can see we're still going to eat it. All right, let's see if we can push 100 watts. What's going on here now? Thank you. Uh, here, thank you. Now we have this 100 watts light bulb. It's not energy saving, it's an old school. Okay, so let's see. If we can burn that element inside, okay, not bad. You can feel, of course, but still soft. Anyway, one way to find out. Okay, are we gonna power this light bulb? I don't know. Shaking, but well, standing. Ready? Okay, okay, okay. This is interesting. But I hear something. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Don't worry.
okay ready if something happened that is going to be the end of the video but let's hope it's not going to come out three two one ready i'm holding this so when i'm pulling it cannot come out okay ready Ooh. yes i even see 91 there remember it depends how fast you spin it so in this case we can see that if we can use the motor or dc motor like how we used to do to spin it uh, to spin this that means well we can reach 200 and 40 250 maybe yeah and you can see uh -oh. and you can see the the bright from this light bulb it shows that even though we're making 90 volts but that means that 90 volts is very strong because you can see how bright this thing goes should we go more than this i think the video is long enough but one minute in this extra minute i'm adding another 100 watts light bulb and i don't know what's going to happen but i would say thanks for watching if you interested if we're going to make more viewers more likes that means i will finish this video by spinning this with a motor just to see the full performance of our generator and maybe by that time i'll find the extra wire to finish up the winding and see the performance after there okay so you can feel resistance but not bad all right anyway let's do this one more time in advance i have to say thanks for watching if you are new don't forget to subscribe and if you love the video don't forget to like thank you very much uh oh what is it now oh come here right ready we have 200 watts three two one 